consider this a boss, I consider it more of a mini boss. Uh, it's still a pain if you're not ready. So, the Black Federation is dead. Well, my job of this planet's done. I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> Let me just confirm. Okay, Galactic Federation dead. Step two, get off planet. Got Samus, it. why aren't you still on there? Oh, don't worry, all the troops are dead. Why are they dead? Huh? Hmm. I, think, I think they got eaten or something. <laughs> Helpful! Thanks, Samus Aaron. Oh, good. I walked into a splinter nest. Perfect. Well, good. I had to rhythm of their pop Oh, God! Well, that can't be good. More reason to kill! Alright then. Oh good, it's a party. So who's first to die? Come on, any takers? Anybody? No, not me! Not me, I don't count! Sir, sure, you. you asked for this. I don't count towards this, you assholes! You're gonna have to deal with it. Whether you like it or not. Shit. Forgive me for that, that was a... Uh, I was testing fire. So yeah, get used to fighting these... Dark possessed creatures. That's gonna be a theme with this game. And well, after the boss fight, we're gonna learn exactly why. And honestly, it's probably the main reason this game's really hard. Now, could you die, you damn little insect? Yeah. Worthless piece of shit. Enough of you! I'll finish you. Okay, so who's next? And here's an Alpha Splinter! By the way, you want to scan it early if you're doing this. If you're trying to get a scan, you want to scan it now, Ow. because if you take too long, something will happen. You'll never be able to get the scan again. Careful the way it jumps. Like I said, this is the first, like, hard fight of this game. Personal I mean, space. You want to be very careful here. Just keep beating the shit out of it for a while. Well, it's an Alpha Splinter, all right? Strong, but dumb as balls. Ow! What'd you say about me being dumb? I know what I said. Don't lump me in with you, you little insect piece of shit. Now the easier part of the fight starts. <laughs> you can kill me, you know. Just try- OH SHIT! No, I didn't mean now! I didn't want you to do it! Now it's a dark alpha splinter! This one won't stay locked in the center, so I actually feel like this is a lot easier to dodge. And he moves slower. It's so weird, it's like they introduce you to the fight, and then they make it easier for you. I find that so weird. You'd think it would be harder this way, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. Because all it does, because like half of the battle is spent shooting. I mean, since this is the first boss, I guess I do appreciate the fact that they don't fucking throw you into hell right from the start. Well, there goes all my missiles. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to use them all right away before you get in here, right? Ow! Just remember to keep sidestepping. He won't follow you like the plane alpha splinter. He'll just go wherever you last were. Just keep dodging and sidestepping. And for anybody that says anything, don't worry. We're playing on fucking hyper mode. This game's still pretty fucking hard. Nothing may be as hard as freaking Meta Ridley or Omega Pirate from Prime 1 in this playthrough, but... Ooh! Early game in this is really hard. Like... One of the complaints people have with Prime 2 is that pacing feels really off. Like, the difficulty curves all over the place. Well, that happened. There you go. Take care of that. Alpha Splinter. Now, what the it's... fuck are you? Well, it's Ow! Ow, it burns! I hate sunlight. Well, it's an Alpha, alright. It's too. It's big, it's strong, and it's dumb. What the hell is that? Oh my god, the light! I want you to scan it, all it says is unknown technology. Huh, I could see that, I wanted to know what it was! Oh, great. And then your suit fucking malfunctions. Fucking Trojan horses, I hate these things! Uh-oh, you're fucked! So we got That's in there, oh, never mind, it's fine! Oh, okay. I, I'm gonna go back for a sec. Yeah. You're going forward, but it's okay, there's no enemies in this way anyway. I wouldn't worry about it. Besides, I think you'll heal if you do this anyway. So yeah, time to wonder about what the fuck is happening around here. Now you got this. <laughs> if I were her, if I got that, I'd be like, WHAT'S HAPPENING?! <laughs> huh. 
I should be panicking, but I should, I'm used to this shit. Yeah. This how much a bad she is. Something whole awful happens. She's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter to nah. me. I'll live. Now. Stay back, you fuck. Oh, you're like those dead things. Want to be another? Do not be afraid. I am Umas, Sentinel of the Luminoth. Please listen and hear our world's peril, because it's also yours. Hey, you know, by the end of this, I might destroy this planet. Be careful how you phrase this. <laughs> Long ago, a cosmic object fell to our planet, Aether, exploding with great force. A rift was torn in time and space, a strange power flowed over the world. Is that how meteors work? In this universe, yes. God damn. once there was one Aether, there are now two. One of light and one of shadow. Each existing in its own dimension. I knew it. There were ultimate dimensions. Son of a bitch. Ooh. It was the end of peace on Aether, for a new race was born that day on no dark world. One filled with hate and terrible power. They are Aang. What they a creative are assholes. name. <laughs> <laughs> the Aang are creatures of shadow and darkness, knowing nothing but peace and mercy. You know, the name Aether sounds uncreative, but it does actually sound menacing. Somehow. For decades we stood against them, yet now we lie on the verge of defeat. And he's dropping the main Galactic Federation troopers on the way here. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> you guys are fucking morons. Anyways, when Dark Aether was born, our planetary energy was divided. Half for our world and half for theirs. That's but now generous. Dark Aether is a bunch of fucking assholes and trying to steal our work. Should one can control this energy, the other will perish. That's why. Uh-huh. Now you seem innocent to me for some reason. Good, now I can rip off your suit, take it for myself. Fuck. Before you arrived, the Yang had stolen the vice from us, one that collects planetary energy. With it, they have weakened our planet to the verge of collapse. Yes. Which Should is why we are about to die. A fortune smiled upon this day, for the energy natural transfer module is now bonded to you. Oh, that sounds good! With it, you can help us. Help us restore our world. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch! Your only hope, Samus. How do you know who I am? And your own hope, mind you. God damn it. Should we fail, the Aang will look to the stars for new planets to ravage and conquer. Your species could be their next victims. Yeah, good luck with that. My planet's already dead. The Aang have taken <laughs> our energy in three temples on Dark Aether. Find those temples and transfer the energy from them to our own. Simple enough. I have updated your map system with the location of another temple. There is knowledge that can help you on your way there. About goddamn time. Oh, what the fuck? I have access to your translator module. You can now access devices and doors code with violet holograms. Many lands are open to you. How the fuck did you do that? This what is our you? planet. Fuck! Prepare well for your journey. The Aang now know possess the energy transfer module. They will murder you with any with all who haste. Return to me once you restore the energy to a temple, and I will aid you as I can. They murder with extreme prejudice, except to themselves, maybe. Yeah. May the light of Aether shine upon you. Are you one of those people? Oh god damn it. Just for that, I'm leaving. Oh come on! Vance, you thought you could kill me! I will never die. God damn it! <laughs> oh god! Why would I scan these pink things? Origins. Oh yes. And there's a lore to go over which the lore for this game is actually pretty interesting. Going over like the history of the planet Aether and how everything, uh, well, happened. Yo, yeah. know, look at these guys and I have to wonder. They look like they know the Chozo because they look kind of like them. A little bit too big for their own good, but... Funny thing! about that. The, the thing you got Origins actually explains that. Huh. That lore entry goes as such, which... Oh, you can't go back to that save station now, but you're fully healed anyway. Yeah. So, yep, now you can open these gates. And with that Origins log we entry you got, it is told that the Luminoth were not born of Aether, but of the stars. Oh, by the way, those enemies are annoying. In the early days, we roamed the greatness of the Void, bathing in the glorious light of a thousand stars. We met a vast number of enlightened minds. The Incarin, the Yila, and the Shozo among them. Each of them we found had claimed a homeworld and formed a deep bond with it. In time, we decided to do the same. So yeah, they're like the Shozo. Only these guys are actually not extinct yet. Yes, although they're on the verge of it. What are these other two, the Incarin and the Yila? <laughs> I'd like to imagine one of them was Space Pirate before Space Pirates. <laughs> ah, the Yilla and the Incrin have not been seen in person in the Metroid series. See, the Prime series expanded the lore of the series more than any other game did. Yeah. Like, 
They created more war for the fucking Metroid universe. Freaking. Oh yeah, and there is an intelligent species that's also mentioned in a later Metroid game, the next one. Yep. I forgot about that. But yep, so there you go, there's your answer. Oh yeah, by the way, get used to this. This is the Ing's main power. Corruption. Yep. No, that's next game. <laughs> it may as well be. By the way, I probably want to go through the missile door behind you. Trust me, you'll want this immediately. Could you not? Dick? Get every energy tank you frickin' can in this game. Because otherwise this game's a struggle. I don't care how good you are. If you think you can get through this game without energy tanks... <laughs> oh, good luck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Help! I'm stuck too! I don't like doors! No! <laughs> Oh, the missiles disappeared. What the? So you have to take this time to get used to these Yeah, but it was enemies. definitely the Alpha Splinter I killed all right. It was big, it was strong, <laughs> and it was dumb. Yes. It's no wonder why it's called the Alpha. He didn't even attack you! What the f- What a freaking worthless bunch of- Whee! <laughs> Kill me! Cannonball! <laughs> I forgot some of them do really weird jumps. I shouldn't be up here! Yeah, you shouldn't. You should have been dead long ago. Just remember, you deserve that. Yes. So, now all that's left to do is see if we can find our way to go somewhere else. Which way was I? You came from inside the temple. So go. That would lead us back to a dead end. You want to go the only way we can go? This way. Later. Yep. I was say this game's probably the hardest to get around to. Because I remember when I first played the game, I had no idea what I was doing, so I had to wait for the. Yeah, this is the only game I got stuck in from not realizing how to use one of the abilities. Or how the game naturally works. Yeah, it's. It, this game has you thinking a lot. I say, it is the one. It least, has you backtracking in the most awkward ways. Too. Yeah. Which is one of the reasons why I don't like it very much. And people think the backtrack of Prime 1's bad. Apparently I learned that's why people aren't the biggest fans of Prime 1. Apparently they think the backtrack in that game is horrendous. So Which for some sections it are, it is. I mean, it's bad in some of the levels to be Like, for some point. things, like, you go through a lot of the game, and then you have to backtrack for one item to go back to the area you were just at to progress yeah, through it. Yeah, it was doing nice. Once further lands, now sand scorched and ruined by war, made life brighter one day. Just over the fucking door. I need to get this shit over with. Oh yeah, by the way, important lore to look over. Guys who look like this. JF me's testament. <laughs> <laughs> J fuck me. This lore will be important to remember. Cause uh well they're um uh Take a note of where they are. Yes. You're gonna need to know for later. And while the lore itself can help you too. Let's see. Which one was that? JF me. JF me, right, right, right. <laughs> That's right, they have it here too. I think. Uh, let's see. JF me testament, yep. Final entry, Warrior JF me. By the way, go to the uh, left in this room. Missile expansion back there. Easy to forget about. And there's also a lore at the opposite end of a cliff. Over there. I forgot this lore for the longest time. And do wow! Friends. Don't look up. <laughs> Ow! Ow. Our, Our heritage. heritage. I'll look that up first. But JFB's testament. Oh, I can fucking fall off too. <laughs> Thanks, assholes. At least I don't instantly die. That'd be some shit if it did. Only of the prime games, only hunters does that. Thank. Hunters is a dick. Why did they introduce that thing? Where all the other Prime games, you fall or crush, you don't die immediately. Prime Hunters, you do. I said, you like Prime Hunters, but goddamn, you better be good. And because of the control scheme, it's kind of hard. Here's the first major area, though. Welcome to Aegon Waste. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Japanese Testament. Their army swells. Beasts and rogue machines join the ranks of the Horde, all eager to bring death to the Luminoth. The Aang sent these new additions to the industrial site to do battle with me. While they watch from safety, 
cowardly mongrels. My only regret in death is that I did not live to see the day of their defeat. May it come soon. Which, by the way, every single um, uh, bit of those lore from those characters has a bolded bit of text. For this was industrial. That's a hint in case you uh, don't know the uh, physical layout of the map situation. Yeah. That'll become important late game. Yep. I'll look up the other thing, but first... Welcome, welcome to the Sandy Ruins that is Aegon Waste. And this is another problem that some people do have with this game, is that... A lot of the areas are very dull and drab to look at because of how the game is structured. Like, it's nothing but sand, ruins, and... Well, ruins. the most modern games! Ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, I will admit, Pride 1 was very colorful. Probably was the most pleasing to look at. Probably 3 I find to be a little bit better with that. Maybe that's just me, though, because... In some regards, yes. Because that's a lot of interesting looking of areas. Also, here's one of the most gruesome deaths I've ever seen. So, I'm going to blast out both your eyes. Ow, don't snip at me, you fuck. Just for that. How's yeah. that? Like that shit? Yeah, you... Ah! My eyes! My eyes! <laughs> wow! Imagine that if somebody gouged out your eyes and you exploded. <laughs> that's the biggest overreaction I've ever seen. No, it's like you gouged someone's eyes out and you throw it at someone to blow them up. <laughs> Here, catch your friend! Oh, what happened to you? No, it's like you like take him. Like, no, I got. No, it's like I'm gonna tell you. Like, I'll show you just how serious I am. Cause when the guys throws here, catch. Well, what the? <laughs> I hope that you know how serious I am. Oh my god, that'd be so brutal. Oh my god. I love it. 